Okay, this is a quick update video on how shaders and overlays can be applied to RetroPie, specifically when you use RetroArch. Now recently, a lot of people have preferred overlays because when you put that effect on the game, it's quite often a much better um, CRT feel and it doesn't put much stress on the pie, so it doesn't slow down. It's quite a good way of putting, say, scan lines, a scanline effect on a game and it looking a bit more retro. And previously, shaders were quite popular as well because of the flexibility and the, the amount of different types of effects you can get using a shader. But um, quite often, they can put a lot of uh, demands on the pie and, and you notice a bit of slowdown. But recently, I think a few more people have been practicing with shaders and seeing the benefits that they can get because you don't have to put so much configuration necessarily into applying a shader. It can be a lot easier. You don't have to specify uh, maybe the screen size that you might want to with overlays. So um, on the RetroPie forums on uh, today, which is November 13th, 2015, there's a new post from user Dave J. He's put his own CRT shader um, for that's compatible with the Pi, and he's put that available for download. So you can download that and try it out. But I'll, I'll run through a couple of examples here using his shader and see what you think, see about the effects, the speed difference, and how that compares to some of the overlays. And I'll check with the author and see if he's uh, keen on getting that in the, the video tool that I've put together to make it very quick and easy to flip between different effects. And if he's happy with that, we can add that into the tool as well. But I'll just fire up some examples. So you can see on the screen at the moment, we've got um, Emulation Station, and I'll go into Streets of Rage. Now, not that it's that relevant, but I'm not running the latest RetroPie here. It's a slightly older one, but for all intents and purposes, the video effect you'll get will be exactly the same, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to fire up this first with no real changes to the video output, except I've got Video Smooth on, which is the default in the new versions of RetroPie anyway. So this should be pretty much as you'd see it. So this is Streets of Rage 2. We'll just see what that's looking like on the screen. And because there's no configuration changes to this, it's pretty much stock um, output with the aspect ratios fixed. So, so that element's largely correct. Um, but besides that, there's no real effect. <clears throat> okay, so if we go in here, you can see already the colors, there's no, there's no break up in, the, in those bold colors. So there's no scanline effect or, or anything like that but it's not too harsh because of the smooth effect is being applied as well. But when I do check the uh, the CRT shader, I probably will turn the smooth function off just so it's, I think it looks better that way, but you can try it with or without, you know, it's easy to change. Do check the other videos for um, how to use shaders because I've done a couple on that anyway. But like I say, I might also add it to that video tool that makes it uh, even quicker and easier to add them. Or you can do it even with the the GUI here, if I just fire that up, so um, with select an X in the menu again, this retro arch is slightly older, but I think you still want to go for it. There's still probably be a settings setting, and in there, if you go video settings, no, no, not video settings, um, up above options, yeah, here it's option shader, and it's probably the same in the slightly newer retro arch. I forget, uh, there you can set. Um, yeah, if you change shader passes and go right, you can set one and then shaders um, zero, you select this and then you can select your shader, etc. So you can do it through that menu as well, but quite often it can be quicker from the command line. But like I say, check out the other videos for that. Anyway, the point of this one is to see what it looks like with no change. So you can see there, I mean, it's, it's all right, it's perfectly usable, it's just not quite uh, a CRT experience. It's, it's, I'm playing this on an LCD with, uh, with no effects on it and yeah you can notice it, although to be honest once you're halfway through a game you don't even notice that it's not that bad. Okay. But this is what you want to compare it against because this is pretty much out the box effect. I'm sure if you pause the video and take a sort of close look at the sprites there you'll see that they don't look particularly they look quite harsh and quite pixelated, if that's the right word for it. And if you're picky about the video output, you probably don't want to stick with this default. Anyway, that's, that's enough idea of that. I'll quit out of that. And I'll just do one more game so you can compare what it's like before any changes. 
Um, Super Street Fighter, let's give that one a go. Again, quite harsh, bright colours. I wish I could say I was playing Ken here, but just doing very badly. I'm not sure how you swap on the Mega Drive from all the buttons doing punches to kicks. But anyway. get the idea there. You can see the sort of boat in the background, the way the colours are quite um, bold, not broken up and it just could be much better really. Anyway, that's that. So I'll quit that. Now I'm just going to let the command line change to the CRT shader that, uh, like I say, the user Dave J's on there. And on the forums he's asking for feedback. So if you do try this do post back and uh, let them know what you think. Um, from what I've seen, I think they're pretty good effects, but Let's um, see how they look. Like I say, I'm just turning the um, turning the smooth effect off, but it can be you know it can be on. It doesn't really. It's a personal preference, really. Okay. I can spell that right. There we go. Okay, so that should enable the shader. I'll fire up. Um, what was it? Streets Rage Two. And see that now. Also with the shader, it's got a good curvature effect. Like this that sort of bend round at the sides and you'll see that kick it. You can already see on the Sega logo that it's got the scan lines going on and on the text. You can already see at the corners there it's sort of slightly bending in but you see it a lot more clearly in the game in a minute. And the text that the streets of in the red that looks much better now to my eye anyway. Okay, so here's the demos running. You can see that's sort of bending on the screen. I guess in combination with an appropriate overlay, it could look really good. It could look like a proper, proper old TV there. And you can see the the main game area there as well, the scanline effect that's going on, and the speed. And I've played the, you know played this, and it doesn't really feel sluggish. I'm not sure how it is exactly compared to No Shader, but you know it's certainly very playable no real slowdown issues. If you try the CRT shaders that are in the RetroPie or RetroArch distribution's default, I don't think they're geared for Raspberry Pi because they either don't work or make it extremely slow, the ones I've tried. But this one is um, very playable. I'll just fire, fire it in now. But you get the idea. You can see the, the curvy timeline effect. You can see the speed isn't slowing down. It's, it's a pretty good effort. I don't know how long um, the user spent creating this, but well worthwhile, I think. It's good to get some shader options um, from what was before. And you can apply this on a per... Well, because it's retro, you could apply it on a per game basis, but it's really easy to apply on a per system basis. Or for whatever reason, maybe you don't want to apply it on all the systems, you don't have to do it system-wide. I'm quite happy sort of playing on that. I think the curvature might be a bit of a personal preference. I think some people won't be up for that at all. But um, it's probably not that difficult. I mean, I don't say from any level of expertise, but I don't imagine it's that difficult for the user to produce a non-curvature version with the same shader effect. Okay, let's try uh, Street Fighter right?
That's much better to my eye anyway. I'd be happy with this. I mean, a lot of the graphical alterations can be down to personal preference, so it's very difficult to set a default for the RetroPie distribution because, you know, some people are like, maybe dead set against any sort of uh, overlay or shader being applied. But um, it's good to know it's, there's lots of options out there and it's pretty easy to set them up. Like I say, if you want to know how to set them up, check out the other videos. Um, but you can see the difference it makes. It's a, it's a great improvement. And what I'm going to do, I'll quickly flick through the other two shaders that the users put up. Um, I'll just do that on one game. And then I'll end it on looking at an overlay so you can see the comparison of how overlays can look. Although there is a separate video I've got on overlays if you want to see it in more detail. Okay, so that's that one. Now I'm quickly going to change the um, the shader from that default CRT one to a barrel effect. Again, keeping the, the curvature going on, but this time it's without... Um, blah, 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 I shouldn't do two things at once. It's without the... Save that. And his description is curvature only. So it's basically the curvature without the scanline effect. And he says updated to allow different levels of distortion horizontally and vertically. So I guess it, it's um, adaptable to any sort of system and resolution. So if I fire that up to Street Rage 2, you should see it's probably very, very similar, but without the sh um, scanline element. So it's a shader again, it's still a shader. There we go. So you can see quite on the streets of it's uh, no effect on top of that. And this is with, just double check, this is with smooth off. So this one might look better with smooth on, but you can see there's there's no real change there except the fact that uh, you've got those that barrel effect. And it could be, I don't know, it feels like it might be slightly quicker, but that could be just uh, me imagining things. Yeah, the, the graphics here, don't, I mean, it needs a smooth effect or some other element, I think, but you can see the sprites aren't looking too pretty there, which I think in part is why the default in RetroPie now is to have smooth on. Yeah, that's that one. Okay, and the third one is quite interesting. You won't, this third one, you won't play the game. The third one is if you create overlays, it produces, it, what it does, it, well, I'll show you, that's the easiest way. Okay, my network connections have the moment. Bear with me. Oh, ping. Okay, that's a bad ping. One moment. Okay, thanks for bearing with me. Right, now find the set. Now what this would do, you can't play it like this, but what it does is covers the playing area with black pixels and covers the rest of the screen with white pixels. So the purpose of this is so you can see exactly where you might want to, with a given game or typically system, because it probably wouldn't vary too much from systems um, in the same system, you could create a border and you can see exactly the size where it should be. You can take a, the, the purpose is take a screenshot of this, save it as a PNG, and then you can just edit that to put your scanline effect on. So it's like a, a template, if you like. And what's the, the user who created it says, Dave J says, it's to help people producing overlays. It ignores the contents of the game screen and displays black pixels where the screen should be and white pixels where the border would be. Take a screenshot of this and it's the perfect shape to be used as a mask for defining the whole for the screen area in an overlay. Um, so yeah, it's really just, if you if you do put those together yourself, it could be quite useful. Anyway, that was the last one there. What I'm going to do, if I quit that, I'm going to fire up how an overlay might look. I mean, there's lots of different types of overlays, obviously, with different effects that are on it. 
and an overlay I guess you could argue is a lot simpler maybe dumber than a shader because an overlay is just an image and it, you, you've got one effect in there a shader I think can be more adaptable and how it's how it treats the image but uh, I'll fire that up now so we've got get rid of the shaders video smooth I'm, I'm gonna put true so I'll smooth the image out and this is this overlay I'm using is from user um, Pat L um, it's available on the Pet Rock blog website the RetroPay um, forum and it's also in the tool that I've put together again there's a video on all that sort of detail but this essentially should I press right buttons um, apply an overlay and you'll see on this particular overlay there you go they've, they've put an image in the black space on the side that's optional you didn't, wouldn't have to put that there um, when I say an image they've just created a part of the picture in that it's all an image and you can see over the center playing area there it's got a scanline effect on that image so it's I think it looks pretty good to be honest I'd be torn between this and, and the CRT shader I, I'd be just as happy with either but again a lot of this is personal preference like I say I think that one looks pretty good like this is what I tend to play with but I was just really impressed to see that CRT shader that's um, got some good performance yeah it's just a bit quite it's sort of resized to get um, more a more precise aspect ratio I think, or playing area whereas the shader well I was going to say that the shader doesn't take into consideration some of the extra options but you can put those in the configuration file it's not really down to the shader the shader just deals with the graphic um, the graphic representation so the fact that this is slightly smaller on the screen isn't to do with the shader yeah, I'd, I'd, quite, I'd be happy playing this one, but if you do have any feedback about that CRT shader you saw, um, give it a go and let the author know what you think. Uh, I think his efforts have been well worthwhile. It's a really impressive, impressive view. And if you're interested in doing this, do read up on, on shaders and overlays. Um, check out some of my videos on the topic. Uh, check out the Pet Rock Block forums, the Retro Pie forums. Lots of really useful, helpful info there. And do check out the wiki. If you have any questions generally, there's a lot of good info on the official wiki, um, which will help you out. And if you're just looking for the um, application of these shaders and overlays, there is that um, tool that I've written that basically copies predefined files for you just to save you the effort. Um, so you, you can uh, download that and that's available in, in another one of my videos. Okay, uh, any questions, please put them in the forum. Uh, sorry, the comments on the on the uh, YouTube video. And uh, go to the forum if you want to have a chat with the author of the CRT shader. Thanks for watching.